Hey, what's up everyone? This is Jay Esker on Academy FM. Today I'm going to talk about using third-party BSD plugins in the FL Studio 12. It is a pretty basic task, um, but I'm going to try to go in detail on how to use them, how to install them, and how to not get lost while doing it, because I, I remember having a lot of trouble when I was a beginner. And I'm going to explain you real quick the insights of FL Studio and how it works using um, the third-party plugins. When you, when you open up FL Studio and you have a, like, let's say you want to use Harmony, you just simply go to, you just simply go here and, add, and, and just open it. It's pretty basic. Right-click it and open it. You might already know that, but it's a pretty basic task. But sometimes people add third-party plugins and they try to open it, try to find it here, and it just doesn't appear here automatically. So I'm going to explain to you real quick. If you click on add more plugins, it usually opens, opens up this, um, this list of file of, of BSDs. However, even though you install something, you need to know where, in, where to install it. So when you click on manage plugins, it gives you, let me make this bigger. Um, you usually have a ton of plugin search path. The third party plugin installment used to be in a way that you, sh you could only install the plugins in just one folder, but not anymore. FL Studio 12 is so cool that you can literally have your plugins installed on your music folder and then another installed on your games folder. It doesn't really matter as long as you tell FL Studio where to look for the plugins for. So this is what we're gonna this is what we want to do. Over here where it says plus, we're gonna create one just to make it simpler. We wanna create well, we wanna browse for a folder. Let's create one real quick on an, on my desktop. Um let's right click, let's put new new folder called um let's call it actually Let's put it on my desktop. I'm just gonna try to create one. <laughs> what am I even doing? Let's try to create one right here in my, let's call it um, J Esker BSTs, something like that. I don't know. You can call it however you want. So we're gonna select this folder. Make the folder you want where you're gonna be installing everything. It's easier, it's more organized, and sometimes using the default um, folders, it's kinda like, complicated I don't know I like having my own folder so I suggest you do the same I have my folder I click OK I select it I click OK so now it's over here you can see it's over here it's all the yellow um, folders right here are the ones that I've told FL Studio to look for it to look for there so this is added over here and since it's marked I'm telling FL Studio that it should look it should scan for plugins over there. However, I do not have any plugins there. What I want to do is just install a random plugin. At the moment, I downloaded this cheapo cheapo tone BSD that I found online. It's it's a free plugin, so I, I it's just for demonstration purposes. You want to extract your file into the folder that you just made. So JS Kerr BSDs, extract it there. Um, if you go to my JS Kerr folder, if you go your to your folders, you should find your BSD here. It's usually a DLL application, DLL extension. Most of the time, it's gonna be like that. Um, you don't really have to worry whether you install it, whether you put them in the 32 bit or 64. It don't really matter as long as they're in the same. Um, folder FL Studio is gonna do all that for you. It's gonna re it's gonna see if it's 32 or whatever. So now to op to install it into FL Studio to add it to the list to this list, you wanna go to more plugins, then manage plugins, and then you click on start scan. Once you start scan, it will scan all the folders that you that you have selected. And since we added the other one, it's gonna be looking for it there. Let's just give it a second. It might take one minute, maybe two minutes. It depends on how many plugins you have and all that. So let's let's just wait for it. 
Cool. So, so um, it scanned all the plugins that I have, and when you download and try to install a new BSD, it will appear as yellow. Like you, all the all the plugins that I had before are usually just white letters, but you'll see blue. I mean, um, yellow letters on new stuff. So for example, in this case, I downloaded Cheapo Tone or something like that. <laughs> I mean, it sounds cheap, yes. And like I said, it doesn't really matter where you install it as long as you tell FL Studio to find, to look for it there. In this case, my BSD was 32 cents, 32 bits. So it doesn't really matter. Before like FL Studio 12, F FL Studio 11, um, there was like a limit and you really needed to put it in the 32, but it's not the case. So life, it's easier now. So to install it, just literally click here, literally on, on this little thing. <laughs> I forgot the name of it. Um, just mark it up, make sure you select it and make sure you favor double click on it. Make sure it's, it's selected on favorite. So it appears on your list and depends on the category category you want it um, for, for this case let's call it you can have a new category that you want uh, I can call it maybe J Esker since and then I can apply, apply the changes um, FL Studio automatically will tell you if it's a synth or an effect the difference is effect goes into the mixer or master and synths go into actual piano rolls etc so yeah let's apply the change we now have this as a favorite. So select it. There you go. Now we can close this. Right click. Now, now supposedly, in order to use it, you need to right click, replace or insert, and look for the new plugin that we have. In this case, it's container. And now we have it. Cool. It's a really cool plugin. I mean, it doesn't have that many presets. It's really cheap, like it says. Uh, it, it's a lot of mono. That's really dope. I can't. <laughs> I can't imagine really weird sounds with it. Cool. So that was one way of installing this. Uh, there's another cool way of installing plugins. Um, that's by using the library, the library. Um, what's the name of this? I don't know. Browser by using the browser over here. You have plugin preset. You have plugin database. You want to select plugin database and click on installed. Actually, if you just installed a plugin if you just add it into a, a folder that you want to a folder like I said you need to add the folder over here just to remind you manage and then add the folder there folder there if you just added a new BSD into a folder right click plugin database and just click on refresh plugin list this one's way faster than the other thing now that it, it's already it's already refreshed I try to do the older thing but I think this is faster this is better Click on it and then uninstalled. If you install a effect or a generator, generators is synth. Um, in this case, we saw this BSD. We can find it over here. Um, con container synth. Literally, we just drag it and put it over here, and it will be there as well. It's another way. Um, also, another cool thing you can do is, for example, um, let's open another different. Um, synth maybe orchestral they're all free I, I found all this on on the internet so no this one doesn't really work for that let's use this music box thing um no let's use your overture so overture it's really cool it has some cool presets that's energy a staccato so 
one super amazing trick that I love. It's when you click on the plugin options, you can add to plugin database. But for example, if you have a, um, a preset opened, it will save like that. So um, in my opinion, it's a really cool, cool thing. For example, when I open, um, which one do I have like that? I'm not pretty sure. I, I don't think I have any. I used to. Now let's do that. Let's do it with this one. Um, let's just select the preset that we wanted to open as the default option. Let's say um, you also you always use this pizzicato things or maybe this full strings. You always use this plugin for that. Why not saving it that way, right? So to do that really quick, add to plugin database. So you flag it as favorite, and it tells you please select or open the plugin database subcategory. So basically, it's telling you which category do you want to put it in. Let's put it in the JS since. So we just put it there, and we click on this one again. Add to plugin database, and it's added to this category. As you can see, it's now there. Um, we can find it really easy if we go to plugin database. You click on here, you go to generators, and it's over here. And if I open it somewhere else, like you see right here, I'm gonna close the one I had. You can see it's gonna be the strings that we had opened. And that's pretty much it. I mean, it's it, it it's all the way, it's all the same thing it's, it's something that you were, you're going to be repeating again and again and again. So remember, manage plugins at your folder that you want to be installing things on and go to your plugin database, right click it, refresh it, open it, find the thing. It says over here installed, find whether it's generator or, or an effect. Um, it's usually just BS3, BS, BST for, for, Effects is the same thing. You just find the one that you downloaded. Um, literally, for example, Endless Smile. You just literally drag it and it's over here and it's cool. So that's pretty much it. Hopefully you find any useful information in this video. I know a lot of people has trouble with this one. Um, but thankfully, FL Studio 12, it's getting more simple. Um, I'm pretty sure FL Studio 20 is going to be even better. And that was it. Thanks for watching.